Guys, this is Sudhir Kove, the logo guru, and today we are going to discuss this unique logo, and the logo is Yes Bank's logo. So, a lot of people generally ask this question about why we are not doing the logo analysis of the companies which are going to fail, or the companies which are having bad kind of logo. So, the success of any company is just not depends on the logo. It has a major contribution, though. But it's like a lot of other factors are also important. So at times you being having a, you having a bad logo can also be sustainable if you have a lot of positives in the logo on the other side. You know there are positives, there are negatives. If the positives are more, then some bad things will also be sustainable. So that is one thing. And another thing, even if we do analysis correctly and tell everything correctly, it's not right to do the analysis of bad logos up front because that will you know it's like throwing shit towards those companies which have bad logo so after something bad happens you know we can we can always explain the principles like which we have done with the uber logo or videocon logo or and you know uh, this bushan logo with those logos we have already explained you what kind of challenges a company can have if they tend to get into a bad logo. Now, in this case also, in US banks also, if you see what is happening. So first, this S bank has this kind of uh, separation. No? When you have a separation in the logo, what happens is you tend to put people or things at two different things, you know, saying yes and bank are at the two different state. So there is a partition. So those two things will never be able to come back. So it's like the the promoters of the company because this is the start so the promoters of the company are not in position to the position to reach to the bank because there is a separation to it so what will happen they will find it difficult to manage things why because now they are not reaching to the bank the start of the bank and the bank are not joined and another thing if you observe if this is the you know this is a kind of uh, uh, tick they have made this tick has a very shaky kind of uh, you know point you know in, uh, if you put this entire logo on this point it's difficult for that logo to get balance if you see it's not a balanced kind of logo so that kind of thing will happen then you know, they will find it difficult to balance things and then again this particular thing has the C slant so they will be doing a lot of things impulsively as well and the good thing about the logo is, yeah, this logo is, is having the blue, uh, white and red color. So blue color will always indicate these people being be, believing uh, in technology. So they will have a lot of technology upgrades. Their technology will be good. Their software will be good. So this bank will be very, very upgraded bank all the time. And at the same, same time, if you observe the font which they have used in the bank, it's also very sharp. So the bank... People will be very sharp, neat, tidy, you know, awesome. But because of this separation, they will always find it difficult to manage it. And because of the stick, the entire company will be in imbalanced state. It's difficult for them to balance a lot of things. This is what the basic thought process of this logo. So because of this, maybe they have got into the trouble. I don't know exactly what happened with them, but this is what the logo means. Okay. So thank you very much for watching this video. And don't forget to subscribe like and share this is amazing 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 science and i want you guys to subscribe so that it spreads to masses and a lot of people come to know about this science thank you very much for watching once again see you soon